is a saw. Right, so we're recording. So welcome. So, also have a bit of water handy as well if you, and even though the gentle exercise is surprising how thirsty you can get sometimes. So we'll start off um, going into a, a standing form. Just before you start, just check around. You're not going to catch anything when you're moving. You, you might make the odd step forward um, and maybe stop to the side, but you're not going to be moving around the room for anyone who's not. Um, I mean, there is some Qigong forms where you can proper movement, um, like Tai Chi, um, but there's an awful lot of forms in Qigong where you can just practice in your own little space. You don't need a lot of room to do it. Um, because you can either do them in a seated position or, or a standing position. So we'll start off. <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll start. Let me just kick my slippers off. We shall start off in emptiness stance, which is a, a form you can go into in between moving forms or just practice in its own right. So we're going to Legs are going to be about shoulder width apart. Again, we start to give ourselves permission to relax as well here. Our knees are just bent a little bit. We can tick our, tuck our tailbones in a little bit, but it's uh, not essential. Move our arms away from our bodies, our fingers pointing downwards to the earth. <laughs> now we're going to go into the breathing technique. So in Qigong, we talk about three energy centers. We've got the lower Dantian, which is underneath, underneath your navel. Then you've got one at your heart and then one at the head. And all the breathing technique is just to make sure you're breathing from this area here. So when you're breathing in, chest expands, moving away from the spine. And this area moves away from the spine too. And then when you breathe out through the, through the mouth, chest goes back to the spine. And so does your stomach. So it's that, like a bellows effect. So we're going to breathe in. And out. In through the nostrils. Out through the mouth. Do a couple more times, breathing in. And out. One more, breathing in. And then out. That's the breathing technique. And we combine that with the gentle movements when we're moving. But I'll go into that as we're going along. Relax the shoulders. And let's create that inner smile. Let's relax and enjoy this Qigong session together. So the first session, first form, sorry, is just these nice gentle arm swings. Let's get the body moving and relaxed a little bit. So we're just swinging to one side. At your front, you're tapping the lower dantian. And at the back, you're tapping the lower spine.
And then we just have that intention just to keep our mind drawn to the breathing, pay attention to the movement of the body. So we get distracted by thoughts about the day ahead or what's happened today. We just bring our attention back to this moment. Bringing ourselves just into this moment. Bodies moving. Breathing nice and easy. In this case, it doesn't matter where we breathe, we just do it nice and naturally. We're just going to bring ourselves to a slow stop, back in emptiness stance. Then we're just going to go into gathering of the chi, which is just going to breathing in, hands right above. Oh, as far as it's comfortable for you, and as we breathe out, we just let our hands come down the body. In fact, we'll do it another couple of times. We'll do it three times. Just gather that chi in. One last time. And back into that emptiness stance. Again, you could just reset the legs. <laughs> so this next one's called opening and closing the gate. So this time we breathe in. And as we're breathing out, we bend slowly forward, crossing our hands across our chest and making ourselves small, crunched together. That's the closing of the gate. Then we're breathing in. We're going to come right up as far as we can, as comfortable. And arch slightly backwards if we can. And then we're going to breathe out. Going back into that closed position. Breathe in. Don't worry if you maybe you have to hold the breath at the top and then breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. So we're going to do another six of these.
just relaxing into the motion. Keep our attention on the breathing. This is a reminder that sometimes we feel closed, sometimes we feel open. But we know these phases pass. And there's times when we know that we can just watch these opening and closing. Let's breathe out. And this time as we end, we just straighten up. And again, we'll go into three rounds of gathering chi. By condemning the stance, again, we can kind of reset ourselves, take a drink. Go back into emptiness stance when we're ready. Now we're going to another one called harmonizing the chi. So we breathe in. As we breathe in, we sink downwards and our arms float. And then we breathe out. And our hands come back to the side. So breathe in. Hands in front with the fingers dangling. And then out. And again. This one's called harmonizing the chi. That's one of the things it can do is just settle the nervous system down, digestive system, all your systems. Just settle it all it down. Good for your blood pressure too. A couple more. And again, we do three more. Caravan of the Chi.
one last one. Back into emptiness stance. Again, we can reset if we need to. And then we'll go into um, 10,000 10, hands, it's called. So this one, you go to do the action first. You're going to bring your hands up right above your head. Join your hands. Then let it come down, just touch the top of your head. Then we're going to go off down to the heart. And point your fingers downwards and go through the lower dantian. So we're just going to breathe in. In fact, just let your breathing come naturally with this one. Not trying to breathe at any particular point. We do it nice and slow. Again, just kind of get lost in the slow movement in the breathing. And just imagine everything is nice and calm and peaceful. And if you have difficulty keeping your hand above your head, you can go down lower level. So it's, you can always adapt this these forms if you have problems with your mobility. You still feel the benefits if you just set that intention. So the visualizing of this is the reason it's called 10,000 hands. Is that we just can imagine that's not just our hands doing it. We're all supporting each other doing this routine and the journey we're on. So we're never really alone. We just picture hand upon hand, guiding our own hands. So we'll do three more.
I'm down just one more now. And again, we'll go into three rounds of Gavin Chi. Back into emptiness stance. Have a drink if we need to. <clears throat> so we'll go into some spring forms now. Let me just check. Took the time. So we'll go into some, this one is called pulling the bone, let them, the arrow fly. So we're going to mimic um, a bone arrow action. And we're going to go into horse stance, if you can. Again, if you can't, and um, that's okay too. So it's like three, uh, three, step, three steps wide, three feet wide. And again, just like in um, empty stance, you um, bend the knees slightly. Don't have your knees locked. Um, so we're going to mimic side to side, firing the ball. So we'll go through the actions first. So you draw up the chi, and then you kind of Make the bow action to the side, point two fingers. Arms come to the front and then they go down. And then we kind of scoop up chi and we fire out to the other side, bending. Arms to the front, bend down. So again, draw it up, go to the side, and then down. Draw up the chi, go to the side, arms in front, and gently down. So breathing, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in and out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and out. This form helps with concentration, 
accuracy, allowing us to make the right decisions in life, that kind of energy. And our aim be true. We'll do a couple more to each side. Again, if we get distracted, we just bring our attention back to the motion, the breathing. This time, when you come back to centre, we just straighten our legs, go back into emptiness stance. And then we do another three gathering of chi. Again, you can just reset. <clears throat> so we're going to try. We're going to try this one. This one's um, called Long Striding Deer. The deer um, is associated with springtime. Um, and there's plenty of deer forms, but we'll try this one. This one, you normally, you move forward, but you can actually do it on the spot. So we're going to try, it's a little bit more difficult on the spot, but we'll try it. So normally, you bring up, you kind of bring up your knee and the alternate hand is straight in front. The hand above the knee is going back, and then you place the foot down, then you reverse. So you, you, that's your left knee in my case and my right hand's pointing straight ahead. Then you bring it slowly down. So you normally you'd stride forward like this, but you probably haven't got the room. So it's this kind of action. Good for balance.
I'm just going, I'm just rocking forwards and back to make it a little bit easier. And you go as nice and slow as you can, keep that balance. Imagine you've got the grace and beauty of a deer. Gonna go back. So from the side, it would look like this. And don't worry if you have the odd little wobble. So we'll just end there with that one. Something to practice to sort of show you that one. And again, we'll do another gathering of chi. Back into emptiness dance. And what we'll do, we'll go into another form, another standing form called hook. Since it's springtime, we're going to hook in a tree. So we'll bring our hands up. So we'll, just imagine you've got this tree trunk. Tree trunk in front of you. And you can feel the, the trunk, the bark. Hands, fingers, nice and soft. And just remind ourselves to have the qualities of a good, well-grown tree, nice strong roots. Abundance of branches and leaves. So we're taking, taking that image. As in uh, Shigong, the legs are you know, the roots of a tree. So we should have a nice, strong, flexible, Flexible legs. Just breathing. Nice and easy. And then on the count of three, we'll just release the hands one down to the sides. And we'll go on to another stationary. This is spiral and tree mudra. Again, this is linked to the tree. So we're going to bring our hands, palms facing each other at the chest. And one hand's going to point, going to stay at the chest. You're the one's going to go to the lower dantian. So you're making this kind of shape. Your palm should be facing the same way. So in this case, these, the bottom hand is your roots. 
and the top is the branches of the tree, the leaves. So again, we can just embrace those qualities, them good qualities. And we can take that on board within ourselves. And then what we're going to do next is just reverse the hands. So we bring our hands back to where they originally were, facing each other. Then we're going to go to swap them over. His palms are still facing the same way. In my case, they're both now facing left. Okay, if we get distracted, just keep reminding ourselves of the breathing, the position of our hands. And the qualities of a tree, characteristics of a tree. If you want to embrace, and it's within us too. And the next outward breath. Move our hands back to facing each other. I'm just going to lower our hands and then go into another gathering of chi. Back in emptiness stance, we can reset, have a drink. A little stretch. And when we're ready, we're going to go back into emptiness stance. And this one, um, we talked about, mentioned anger. This is really good for letting anger out the body. Um, punching downwards with an angry face. I think it's a correct title, Scott, another. Punching with an angry gaze to increase strength. So we're just going to let this anger out, because anger only ever really weakens us. And then rather than taking out on somebody else, we can just do this exercise, this form, which help can release it. So we're just going to bring our hands in front of us, palm fists clenched, but 
palms facing upwards. And whatever you want to start with first, you're going to imagine you're going to punch down in front with you and the other hand goes back. And then you breathe in. And you stop all off. Breathe in. Just gonna let the anger out the body. Then be absorbed back into the earth. Just nice and smooth. Breathe it in. Your hands come together and out as you punch forward. Again, any distractions that you may have, just bring your attention to the breathing, the movement. And just bring you into this moment. Do two more to each side. Next time, your hands are both in the center, release the grip, and then we're going to another gathering of chi. Back into emptiness stance. And we'll do one last one before we end this session. This is called Hummingbird. We're going to bring our hands to our lower dantian, about head width apart. Then, as we breathe out, we're just going to let our hands go to the side, like so. The side you've gone to should have your hand on top, and then we're just going to swing down to the lower dancing slowly. And then we're going to go to the other side. And this is kind of mimicking that action that human birds have where they look like they're hardly moving but they're really moving very very quickly or the wings are we swing around to center let's 
So you can breathe in as you come to center and then breathe out as you go up. Breathe in and then out. And again, or you can imagine one hand is pushing the other hand. And again, just allow yourself to be in this moment. Just like the hummingbird. So we'll do one more to each side. As we come to center, we push down. And again, we'll end, to end this session just by doing three Gardener Chi or Peaceful Chi. We're going to end in this dance. And then we can release. Thank you for attending. I hope you've enjoyed that session. If you do have any questions, um, ask away or message me. Oops, I've got my glasses. <laughs>